You guys missed this bad lighting, didn't you? I love this little guy. Let's get that angle. Yeah, this lighting's just great today, guys. Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video is so exciting because it is my first ever official vlog, which is so exciting because less work for me. No, just kidding. Um, I'm trying to get used to holding the camera with my hand again, so sorry if it's like shaky. So disclaimer, sorry about the lighting, but the window is open. Normally it's not open because we always have the lighting. But you know what, it's a vlog. Nobody really cares right now. So you're probably like, what is this vlog gonna be on today? Today's vlog is going to be print and edit photos with me. Um, yesterday I was like, tomorrow, you know what? I need to edit and print some more photos that I've taken over the last couple months. And you know what? I was like, I don't have a video idea planned yet. So we're gonna do this and it's gonna be fun. I don't know if you see up there, there's some photos up there on a grid of mine and those are getting pretty old now they're from winter and I want to take them down and put up new ones there and I actually want to move the winter ones I don't know if you've seen in past videos but let me show you over here on my bookshelf beside my desk I have a whole side of it filled with pictures I printed out over the last so many months now. So I'm going to convert some of the photos that's on my phone over to my tablet and then edit them and print them out with my printer and stick them onto there and put some on the grid up there. Um, so let's go get my printer, which is in my dresser drawer. Okay, so my printer and stuff I store in the bottom of my dresser drawer down here. Hold on, let's get that angle, you know. Let's get that angle. So much for that angle. Okay, so down here in this bottom drawer is all my like filming, um, tech stuff, yeah. I also store my printer down here, my photo printer. You may have seen it in some past videos. So it has three pieces to it. It has the power cord for it. It's just a lovely mess I tangled up here. Also it has the paper in the photo cartridge here. And lastly, the main part, the printer itself. So here it is. I love this little guy. He brings so many memories, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. Now we got all the supplies out. Ooh, that lighting. You guys missed this bad lighting, didn't you? Okay, so I think my first objective is to take down all of these semi-old photos up on my photo grid and then move them down to my bookshelf gallery wall whatever you want to call it so yeah rip them off gently there is tape behind them that's how they're being held up if you're really wondering but yeah Photos are taken down. Now let's move them on to the gallery wall. Is this distracting you? Is this better? <gasps> okay, lighting is better, check, yay. Okay, so just a reminder of what the gallery wall looks like. Here's the bookshelf, there's my desk. So the bookshelf's beside my desk. Here it is right here. I put quite a bit of pictures here already. So I'm going to take the pictures we took down from my photo grid up on the wall and I'm just going to stick them down here at the bottom area. So, let's do that. Okay, so now the photos from the photo grid on the wall are now stuck onto here. So now it is time to print new pictures and put some on the photo grid and finish off hopefully the rest of the bottom of this. Let's convert the photos onto my tablet and then start editing them and then printing them. So um, let's do that. So I'm gonna take this little converter device, let's just call it that, open this, put a memory card in I have that I'm gonna be using to convert them with. 
put that in there and then plug that into my phone port. Now let's just convert. Okay, so I just copied all of the files from my phone here onto this memory card here, which I then am going to take and put into this transferring device and get my tablet over here and plug that into this and then copy those off of the memory card onto my tablet. Okay, now all of the files that we moved from my phone are now all onto my tablet. So now this is the time to start editing those. And I use the app Lightroom to edit. And then I basically just put my own preset on to those and make them a little more cute, you know? Okay, now I edited all the photos that I needed to edit, and now it is the fun time. We are going to get my printer and print all those out, and then we're gonna cut them, and then put tape on them, and then stick them. So let's do it. Oh, hello. I'm just currently down here setting up my printer. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You know what, the lighting's bad. Is the lighting too bad? Yeah, this lighting's just great today, guys. We are doing amazing. Okay, there he is, perfect. And now I'm just going to go through and select the photos that I want to print. Okay, perfect. So it puts four little images onto one big piece of paper and then I cut them up. So I selected the four right now and let's push the print button and then it is ready to go. Perfect, now let's take it out and cut it up. Okay, so here is my pictures I just printed. Here they all are right here. And as you can tell, they're all grouped together in one big piece of paper. So now I'm going to take my paper cutter I have right here and lay that down and start cutting. And then basically what you do is run this thing across and it should cut it. Wow, we got one half done already. Then let's take the other side and just turn it and put it on the line. And we're just going to repeat that process. There we go, look at this one, perfect. Oh, this one turned out pretty good too, look at that, yay. Okay guys, here is all of my printed photos that I just printed off today. Now it is time to convert all of these over to the gallery wall over there. So let's just do that now. Okay, so the main objective now is to put some tape on the back of these photos. What I'm gonna do is take a little piece of tape and roll it up backwards so both sides are sticky, if you know what I mean. Then I'm gonna take my photo of mine and then go on the back and just stick that right there. I don't know if you can see it. And then one photo is done. Okay, so now I just finished sticking all the tape onto my photos. Now I'm going to put probably half of them up on the photo grid and then the other half onto the bookshelf wall thing and we'll go from there. Okay, I got a couple up there. I don't have as many as I do last time, but 
I think still cute. So that area is good. So now I actually have two left for the gallery wall, which is kind of sad, but let's stick them on anyhow. Okay, so here is the complete finished gallery wall. Um, I know we only did a couple today, but here is a lot of it all together. Now we have a little room left, so I guess I'll save that for in a couple months, but this is it so far. I'm very happy with it. I don't know. It's so cute. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this week's video slash vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click that like button. It would mean so, so much. These photos did turn out very cute. I'm very happy with them. You can see them up there. Anyways, guys, I love you all so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.